Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how you can convert a Fiberlogist pool to accept the refills that they sell. So I uh, just printed two parts and uh, cut the spool. I cut it only on the one side because uh, you don't need it to cut in half, just one side of the tube and then the other one you leave it on and just press fit the thread inside. I didn't even use glue. Was kind of hard to press fit it, but <laughs> with a hammer <laughs> and some patience it worked. If you want to insert your filament refill, just use the triangle to lock the end of the filament inside. Look at this. But after you put the spool, you're gonna have a space here. And I've looked and looked and somebody posted on printables a spacer just for this. So I printed, it's just only one hour of print. I don't know if uh, your printer is faster, lucky you. But if you place this one here and uh, keep it tight, this will lock and uh, keep your filament nice and tight. So let's find the end of the filament and cut the zip ties. After this, let's get them out. And that's it. Let's go to the printer and change the filament. I have a Elegoo Neptune 3 Plus, so let's get this out. Just remember, when you place your filament, you need to cut it to an angle. <laughs> because I forgot and uh, I had to go back to find my pliers. Cut it, and then if you have a filament sensor, that should be the first thing that you put the filament through and then the extruder what a transition so let's test something let's test uh, a benchy so one hour and eight minutes benchy that's the fastest that i can do Would you look at this? So I got some stringing, that's because uh, this filament is new and I don't know the temps. With a temp towel you can uh, avoid this, but right now I'm gonna search for a blowtorch, a mini blowtorch, to remove the stringing. Let's go! just look at this one so it's a nice print everything is fine so i would recommend you to buy a refill and convert your spool this looks amazing and i didn't have any problems thank you for watching